Donald Trump reviving false claims of a stolen election. Center stage in North Carolina. That election will go down as the crime of the century, and our country is being destroyed by people who perhaps have no right to destroy it. The room full of Republicans cheering him on. Some holding a flag announcing Trump won as he took the stage. I am not the one trying to undermine American democracy. I'm the one that's trying to save it. The Trump-led big lie about a fraud-riddled election, the basis for Republican-led efforts to pass sweeping, restrictive voter laws across the country. They saw what happened in this last disaster. Trump also taking aim at Facebook after they announced a decision to ban him from their platforms, including Instagram, until at least 2023. It's so unfair. They're shutting down an entire group of people, not just me. Trump preparing for more public appearances this summer and a big role in the 2022 midterms, making his presence felt in the Senate primary contest here, endorsing Congressman Ted Budd. I am giving him my complete and total endorsement. After his daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, declined to run in her home state. No for now, not no forever. But some here hoping Trump will do more than just campaign for others. Obviously, the holy grail would be for him to run for president again. Others prepared to survey the field. I think it's an open field for 2024, and then you're going to see a lot of different people pop out of the woodwork. Including here in Greenville. Everything I'd ever wanted to do, Donald J. Trump made possible. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem praising Trump, even with rumored presidential ambitions of her own. But not all Republicans are marching in lockstep. Congresswoman Liz Cheney, recently ousted from House GOP leadership, not mincing words when it comes to Trump's refusal to accept 2020's results. I think it's a very real threat, and it's an ongoing threat. And Willie, with Trump banned from social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter, these kinds of events and future rallies are now his primary way of connecting with voters. A blog was set up to allow supporters to track the former president's latest movements, but that was shut down this week after less than a month, making the podium all the more valuable to him. Willie? Allie Vitale in Greenville, North Carolina for us. Allie, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.